Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry, and it's time for some more Battle Brothers. The Legends mod has finally been updated, ah, uh, it's been a while, and it's now Blazing Deserts DLC compatible. Actually, it was updated last week or the week before, but I thought I'd leave it a little while before diving in to see if the mod got updated because I wouldn't want to see a mod update mid playthrough that fixed a major massive bug that I hadn't encountered yet but would be game breaking and the mod update would break new saves. So, that being said, I am aware of some bugs with this version of the mod so I'm going to do what I can to mitigate them. Mitigate them. I'm going to start a new campaign and we have all of the usual Legends Origins here, plus a few more. Now, I would like to try this one. A nice religious origin. Look, we already have the, uh, the cultist of Davkul represented, so we might as well have the Old Faith represented as well. We've also got plenty of origins for the southern culture, but again, the northern one was not very represented, so I, this is a nice religious mod, you know, monks, nuns, priests, flagellants, crusaders, those kinds of characters. And I think it would be nice to see the holy men go out upon an excursion into the world to bring the words of the gods to those of the more common folk. Now additionally, there is something else I might be doing for this playthrough. We'll have to see. I might be collaborating with uh, an old gaming buddy of mine. Well, not that old, but yeah. Hmm. So, let's see. I'm not sure the Inquisition was the best name for this origin, but we'll see. There is a great evil in the world. The undead walk the earth and cultists hide in every town. The holy must purge the filth. So we have righteous cause. Cannot recruit outlaw backgrounds. However, the pious will flock to join your cause. And penitence. Anyone you hire gains the mind of a body perk. Oh, that's good. That's really good. So, I think, since it was such a memorable name before, there was a company of old I played, led by a crusader or a lone knight, known as the First Stone, and it's such a good name. But I feel it should be represented once again. It perhaps inspired a group of monks and nuns reading over ancient historical documents. Oh, there was a religious company known as the First Stone Mercenary Company. For as it is written, let he who is without sin cast the first stone, and so the name is stuck. Now let's go for a nice, um, oh yes, how about this, this great hand of the old father preparing to cast the first stone of the infidels and unworthy. All right, economic difficulty. Legends changes the economy quite a bit from the core game. Uh, it might be nice to go for veteran, but um, in the early game, money is really hard to come by. So I'm going to leave it on beginner for now. Combat difficulty, I will stick on veteran. Now, Legends also makes significant changes to the combat, so that Legends beginner is nearer to regular veteran. This might get a little bit hard. Starting funds, uh, go medium. And as for Iron Man, because the game can be buggy and it might crash or a save might get corrupted or something, for a YouTube playthrough, Iron Man is not the best choice. So I'm going to leave it as it is. All right. Uh, map size. Do I want a bigger map? I'm not sure. Do I want more settlements on that? Yes, of course. A few more. Factions. Let's go up to four. So we have map width, map 
height landmass ratio is how much water is on the on the map. So a 50-50, the half water, half land. Oh no, 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 no. Um, water is the water, landmass ratio, I can't remember. It might be to do with mountains and swamps and things. Uh, deserts, a snow line, how much of the map is covered in snow. Okay, I'm good at this. Unexplored map, absolutely a must. The game isn't fun without it. Uh, decked out citadels, no. All trade buildings available, I think, yes. Let's say this is a well-cultured world. Right, and then we have a lot of options here. First off, there's the somewhat controversial Battle Sisters. Now, let's think on this. Do I want women in this game? Well, the developers often have lines of dialogue about loving women and wanting them to be involved and then just not doing anything about it. Um, however, you know, you know what? There are certain rather formidable and forceful women who want to play with the boys and who do fight and are very aggressive and combative and not a lot of men can say no to them. These women are rare and not the norm. They're very masculine women. Having all roles available for women feels a bit wrong in a medieval society. Having none at all, that could, uh, that could still be tricky. Specific is historically inspired backgrounds for female characters. So, for example, uh, you know, things like widows or nuns, whereas all would be like, oh yeah, here's this, this and that and, and everything, you know. And you can end up with towns where you tell, well, there's only women to hire. And that, that feels a little bit unconvincing when there's that much available. Right. Dynamic perks. Do we want dynamic perk trees for different livings instead of everyone having the same ones? I think we do. Layered armor is a tricky one. I've had... In the early days of Legends mods, I didn't like the layered armor. The art didn't line up with the character models very well, and it just looked clunky and bad. That being said, those who use the Legend mod swear by it, which means it's either far too powerful, or it is nice to have properly layered armor. You know, like get get your get your clothes, get your padding, get your mail. You know. Uh, so I'll leave it turned on this time because the artwork for the layered armor has been either updated or adjusted so it actually fits on the character bodies a lot better now. Equipment scaling makes the, as the game progresses, higher level equipment becomes available, but the prices are so inflated it's just ridiculous in the early game. Distance scaling, the further away we get from settle from civilization, the more dangerous things become. I like that one. Skip camping tutorial. Right. Legends has a very different camping system. I wish it was optional and no Legends camping and just keep the other things from the mod. But it is what it is. Recruit scaling is just like equipment scaling. As the campaign progresses, the recruits become higher level and cost more and it ramps up at a much faster rate than the economy can really cope with it. Especially with equipment scaling as well. Right. <clears throat> bleeds count as kills. If enabled, kills by bleeding out are granted to the actor who calls for bleed. Now, this is important because if bleeds do not count as kills in the, in the core game, that could mean you potentially miss out on a lot of treasure, especially if there are, you know, like companies of guardsmen or other mercenaries involved in the fight. Additionally, there are a number of legend perks related to killing specific types of enemies, so keeping this on is a good idea. World economy 
Uh, settlements will actively trade items and resources and can grow or decline in value. Value of settlement. Okay, so basically, the settlements do better, they can grow larger. As they fail, they can grow smaller. I mean, otherwise, the economy is pretty uh, going as it is. I'll, I'll leave it turned on for now. All crafting recipes unlocked? No, no, we, we can find out. Legends magic. Um, hmm. Makes it possible to find rare wise women in stones, magical backgrounds, and magic perks. They are very rare. I will leave it turned on because with it turned off, some of the origins, like the, the seer, is a lovely origin. She's a wise woman, she's a spellcaster, she you know, wanders around the map, gathering up followers, and has a few magical abilities. Without this, she doesn't even have her magical abilities. And kind of struggles quite a lot because she doesn't get rebalanced for that. There's a few other classes, but also this allows a few magical abilities to religious characters, like a few special prayers and things. Ferianthropy is a bit buggy. So, Ferianthropy is like werewolves, werebears, you know, things like that, right? Shapeshifters, um, skin changers. It's a little bit buggy. Uh, so, I'm going to leave this one turned off for now. And there we go. Let us begin. In the beginning there was the company, and the company was the first stone. And they looked upon the land, and they walked across it in search of new members for their company. A dark fog reigns over these lands, petty nobility corrupted by the whispers of corrupted magics, of corrupting magics. Men driven to madness by the touch of forces beyond comprehension. As a youngling, you never took the bishop's words seriously. A day of seclusion and prayer ended with a return to the charred remains of his chapel. The sin of man came apparent when you saw the bishop's charred corpse paraded by a mob of peasants on top of a pike. You fled as far as you could, hoping to alert the baron to the situation. You broke through the brush to see pillars of smoke that reached the heavens. Several soldiers lay slain at your feet, their guts torn out and devoured by some unknown beast. Seeing no hope for salvation, you continued to run and never stopped. You warned whoever would listen, but few heeded your call. Only the most devout and pious took your words seriously and joined you on your new journey to continue what the bishop preached in a more hands-on approach. So that should be with a more hands-on approach. You now find yourself in a new land, engulfed in a shadow war between heretical powers above comprehension. You and your band will drive out the darkness, rallying the faithful to your call. The pyres shall light with righteous flame and you will usher in a golden age of faith and purity amongst this realm. I should have set it to the undead late game um, crisis for, for the most fun read. But what do we got? We have Alebrand. Oh, 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 asthmatic, undead killer. Okay. So we have a witch hunter. We'll call him Carlston. Uh, Wolfbane Necklace stops wearer tra transforming into a wear picture, but I had that turned off. So I shouldn't even have this item. And Carlson gets to be level 2. Well, as an Inquisitor, I think we shall give him triple strikes. And that's a good range skill, give him a bit of melee defense, because he's going to need it eventually. And oh! Wait for it. Wait for it. Yes, he could be a good banner bearer. We also have Fulbert the Iron with an amazing helmet. An amazing layered helmet. A flagell who is short sighted, firm grip. Okay. We'll give him the, the Traveller's Sash so the company can carry that more. So he gets a nice little bag to carry things in. Also, everybody gets a nice sharp wooden stick. And we hope we don't run into vampires anytime soon. Fulbert, good name. And then we have Herlev the Quiet. 
Um, call it Ermina. Uh, obviously a nun. A ginger nun. Wait, wait, wait. With expensive earrings? Hmm, we might have to do something like that. That's, uh, that's vanity, that is. Although they are hidden under her cow. We need more people to join the cause of the righteous. So, what do we need this early on? We've got three company members. We absolutely need more. And they will be expensive. So, I'm seeing a bastard. I'm... Hmm, no. Um, a few caravan hands. A miner. A... Militiaman. Very worthy, but very expensive. A stupid militiaman. Less expensive. Mostly because of his equipment. Ooh. A squire. A monk. Absolutely, yes. And a nun. There we go, then. And let's gather some equipment. So... New company members. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we have a shield. Uh, if we spread them like this, yes. So we will give Diederik a shield. And a tablet. There we go. And then Albarada. That doesn't quite feel right. Um, Evelyn? No. Evelyn? No. Yeah. Yes. And she can have some bandages. Now, what do we want here? Oh, oh okay. Let's take that. And since there's a shortage of shields, we'll move her back, give her the stave. We can have that. And what else do we want? Um, we could spend a lot of money at the big shops, and there are some fancy items available. But the big shops have big prices. Currently beyond our... I don't know, actually. Ooh. Okay, let... Could, but no, we need the money to pay our wages. We're also going to need food. Uh, we got food for a while, some tools, we got a good amount of supplies. Now let's set out into the world in search of good deeds to be done. Now, it's been a while since I've played Battle Brothers on the channel, but I have been playing it on and off in between. So. You know, I will not be a complete stranger to... Oh, hello, here's a settlement. Let's hopefully seek gainful employment. Oh, and people to hire? Yes, but we need the money. Can we get a shield? We absolutely can, that's great. A hooded man gestures for you to follow him. Nervously looking over his shoulder, he leads you to the back room of a local tavern. Before addressing you, he takes his time to peek out the windows, probably looking for anyone eavesdropping. A figurehead by the name of Tibord the Merchant wishes to see you. He is a man of some repute in this town, so you understand my discretion. He slides a paper towards you. There are directions written on it. Tibord the Merchant's reading one of many scrolls. He angrily tosses it onto a pile of others. The people of Nord eh, have, are rightfully furious. 
Do you know a brigand, possibly in league with the other vagabonds, managed to steal my demonic statuette from us? The artifact is of immeasurable value to me, and to the people, of course. Oh dear. The Inquisition will like to know about this. We suppose you wish for us to return it to you? The man points a finger. Precisely, smart cell sword. That is exactly what I want you to do. Follow the footprints of thievery and return to me the item which I, uh, the town, rightfully owns. What is it worth to you, my good man? He opens the palms of his hands. I am tight on crowns, so before you ask, this is all I have right now. You'll be paid 70 crowns in advance and another 270 when the job is done. Well, then we accept. Okay, so this is a recovery mission. It's a nice early game mission to have. Can we get... Ooh, hello. Maybe. Maybe. Um... Anything worth grabbing here? Uh, no, I think we are good. He says, seeing the bandages and absolutely grabbing them. Let us give those to Bermuda. Actually, that might be a bad idea. Take those back. Give them to Deidre. Also, we'll set this shield to repair, and hopefully, we'll be able to get Belena some kind of frontline weapon as well. I switch that to there? Yes, I do. Alright. Westwards it is. And of course, our quarry has veered off into the forest where many dangers lurk. It is an unsightly and unsafe location for us to be in. However, they cannot have gone far. Seven, and uh, yes, I can. While we can run them down, we might want to wait for them to make it out of the woods. Come on, you. And before dying. You catch a group of brigands lugging your employer's property around. They seem shocked that you have found them here and no time is wasted trying to parley. They arm themselves and you order the first stone to charge. To arms! We'll teach these scoundrels a lesson. Okay, two slings and a bow. This is a problem. Keep that shield up. Move up to the tree line. I say tree line, it's just one tree. Take courage, good hearts. The enemy are many, but they are not without number. Get that shield up. There we go. Right, let's get her up here him up here and say, you've got a bow, you're dangerous to us. Nice. So, it is entirely possible that the founder of this company is in touch with an old knight by the name of Marius, who has plenty of experience in these matters, and there may be correspondence with the old knight regarding how the company should be handled. Now, Nice shot, right in the hand. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, we'll go right up to here and hope she's okay. Uh, I'm gonna go to here and just try and crowd out this man into an him. Also, she puts that staff to good use. Um, I would defend, but seem there was no need. Right. Can I shoot someone? Yes. Can I shoot you? Yes. Should I? Absolutely not. Right. 
get down there and flog that sinner. And then, if you, Ermina, could get to there, that'd be great. Ah, not so great. Okay. I don't think we can strike him from up here. Yes, get him. He shall know, for the burden of his sins shall weigh heavy upon his shoulders. As will our weapons about his head and shoulders. Ah, oh, he is just determined to escape us. There we go. Um, how did he get the extra hex when we were adjacent to the full bass? Bonkers, but oh well. Is he... It would seem he is destined to escape this day. Let us hope he is able to dwell upon his sins and think better in the future. Also, this one's going to be whacked. Absolutely whack him. He's got to have Pathfinder. And he's out. Well, I do not believe this one's going to escape. He shall be smote most righteously. Is it worth wasting a shot? Wow, no, we can't even shoot him. Okay. Now we can. Not worth it. So let's begin to reassemble our company. There we go. Gathering up upon the sinner. Oh, bow and some slings. It might be worth it to gather up the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. But for now. So, asthmatic. Uh, she's good. Uh, bleeder and lumbering. Okay. Uh, disciple of... Oh, do we all... No! Only you get this? I would have thought that all of the starting free characters would get this. Um, an individual of unquestionable loyalty to the faithful. Uh, that feels very odd. I wonder if they're all supposed to get that. That could be interesting. Great. If I head up here... I won't really get there before dark. So I'll just go back straight to Nore and hope to avoid trouble. In fact, let's head towards this road down here. Now, we didn't get any injuries in that first fight. Just a few scrapes and bruises, so that's good. You know, no one got seriously knackered or duffed up. As it should be. This may be Road's End. I doubt it, but I want to check. Tabod the Merchant grins as you enter. Sell sword, sell sword. Will you sell me word of your presence? You sell, sell sword, sells word. Will you sell me word of your success? You take out the artifact and place it on his table. Surely, as the Maker decrees, it has been done. The man jolts forwards in his chair and takes the item away. He turns back to you, calming himself, returning his composure. Ah, good, you did well. Very good. Uh, 270 crowns, as promised. He hands over a sack of coins, and we suspect he is up to no good. Do we want to hire any of these people? I don't believe we do. Checking the market. Now they have just sent off a... We've got a knife which is better than a wooden stake. 
I mean, it's shorter, but a lot sharper. And oh, hello. Well, hello there. I think I know what we're doing next, don't you? I was going to follow the road north, but... Okay, so our first um, objective. Oh, we, we didn't get... We didn't get allies, that's unfortunate. Um, hmm. Okay, let's try and go for a large company. It'll take a bit of time, but we can do this. More importantly, we're about to make profit. Hopefully. Hopefully profit. It's a shame we could not afford both, but we we gathered what we can. Yes, absolutely loads of money. And you know what that means? It means we might even be able to afford some basic simple spears. Okay, how about other equipment? It's a nice helmet, but it's very expensive. Um, maybe a few gambersons would be good. But again, money. Oh, okay. Um, let me know if I'm skipping over too much uh, Stuff, but I'm sure by this point most of you watching this will be fairly familiar with the workings of the Legends mod, as it is a popular mod and many people use it. It is, as I've said before, essentially the Long War of Battle Brothers. And for those of you familiar with the new XCOM games, you'll know exactly what I mean. So, what am I... I really want to go pick that up, but I'd need to find a town with a good marketplace where I could make a suitable profit on it. Oh, hello. This looks like it may be leading to a castle. I see ore smelters. Yes, okay. Hohenschatz. Unfortunately, this means not a lot of employment. Can we hire... Oh, those are expensive. Expensive trip. Hello. That is a terrible name for a monk. You are a blacksmith. Ooh. We have a woman. Our first woman, and she is a washerwoman. Um, let's hire this blacksmith. We'll call him Heldred. And he will be good for maintaining our equipment. Um, oh, he'll be good for heavy armor and shield. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing good things here for this man. The stars aren't great, but we can make it work. Can we? There's a spear, that's great. We need more of those. The wooden spears, they don't even have metal heads on. They're just like hardened wooden tips. Hardened in the ashes of a fire or something. Oh, that is cheap. That is that is quite cheap at the moment. And we don't have enough to... Oh, that's a shame. That spear costs us. Okay. Who... 56. Who has low melee skill? Uh, and 47 and 2 stars. Oh, and you... If we keep you back for now... I mean, you're obviously two-handed sword and heavy armor. It's possible. But this Inquisitor is a bit disappointing. I, I still feel like all three of them were supposed to get this. This looks like an origin um, perk. Well... Let us go find other people in need of our assistance. Many's the place that could feel the touch of the hand 
but is deemed worthy to take up the first stone. I mean, we're, we're halfway to a dozen already, so that's good, right? Oh, another castle, lovely. And a castle with not much in it. Okay. Are you a dead end? You are. Wonderful. Obviously, I'm not utilizing the, the camping minigame at the moment because I feel that it makes things, it makes towns a bit redundant. It makes everything a little bit too easy. And also, we don't really have much use for it just yet. Yes, we do. Let's go to camp. That is not a blacksmith. Let's, let's make him look a little more. There we are. Okay, okay. I mean, these are all... Oh, she's a bit fat. That makes sense with her... Um, oh, you know what? There it is. And you, you're fine as well, obviously. Right. Fifteen barbarians is something we should avoid this early on. I saw the five, didn't see the one before it. Yep, that's quite a few. We don't want this campaign to go really badly this early on. Oh, a nice large town where we can find lots of jobs, hopefully. Yes, we can. And also... Ooh, another witch hunter. Level 3 witch hunter. That's ridiculously expensive for us at this point in time. Um, oh dear, this poor woman. This poor washerwoman. She's not doing well, is she? Right, Oscar. Another monk. I think we should. Um, but first off, let's... Oh, hello. I'm seeing equipment here. And I'm also seeing prices. Okay. Beat of the merchants reading one of many scrolls. He angrily tosses it onto a pile of others. The people of Schwarzland are rightfully furious. Do you know a brigand, possibly in league with other vagabonds, managed to steal my golden talisman from us? This artifact is of immeasurable value to me. And to the people, of course. We presume you wish for us to return it to you? The man points a finger. Precisely! Smart sellsword. That is exactly what I want you to do. Follow the footprints of thievery and return to me the item which I rightfully own. And of course the townsfolk will be grateful as well. Well, he takes a deep breath. Very well, I'll, this is what I'm prepared to offer you. You'll get 270 crowns when the contract is done. We accept. Now the first stone don't quibble over pay. They take what is offered and are grateful. If we're going to take Brother Oscar, we're going to want... Ooh, we might be able to get a good price on bricks after this. We're going to want another spear. We should take that anyway. And a shield. Okay, okay. Um, well, we aren't even using that spear yet, so, there we go, let's head off, do this mission, and see how we fare. Now, the one thing we do have to be cautious about is the bunch of 15 barbarians roaming around here somewhere. Ah, oh, hello. You lot, this is a big forest. Let's get on the road and try and chase them out of it. And they're off the road again. Look, yeah, they're... Yes. Go on. Run out of the woods. Nope, nope, no, no, no. No, no, no. Look. Fighting thieves in the forest is perfectly reasonable. However, this early on, when we've got, like, all starting starting company. 
it's going to be really difficult. Yeah, they have some options. Okay. We'll harry them till morning and see if they find a better place to stay. If we're going to have to fight them in the forest, we might as well at least not do it at night. Although this is a significantly large rat, okay, we're fighting them. They were determined to give me a hard time. Right. We need to be getting you some better equipment, Heldred. And we need to be doing it quickly. Um, you can go to there. And you can go to here. Get that shield up. You can come down here. And shoot him, apparently. Good shot. Ah, oh, so many ranged weapons. It means they're going to run away and we're going to get so few kills and experience out of this. This we live for. Right, let's take you to here. And then you, if we send you up to there, that's probably almost a good idea. Right, let's get you to there. Trees cover then rush in. After. Oh. Hello. Really now? Okay. Well, that's a problem. We could shoot through there clearly, but not pass through. Interesting. Hey, hang on, he was... Are you seriously telling me the reason we couldn't walk through there is because someone was already there? I believe you are. Right. Okay, we're off to a grand start. Hammer time. Hammer says, ow, to you. And you say, ow, back when it touches you. It's great. Okay, watch out, he's got a knife. Can we get in there? Yes, we can. Can we get in here? Oh, absolutely. Let's do that instead. Right, let's also come around here. Oh, don't stab him. You'll make him angry. And you won't like him when he's angry. Okay, that's serious damage. He might be short of breath, but he's not short of combat ability. Right, and again. Oh yes. She's a... She might be big, but she hits hard. And we're not going to get another hex out of that because of the forest ground. Right. Uh, can we shoot you? Yes, we can with cover. Not good. Well, let's just move on up. and threaten to lower his defense. You know what, let's get up here. There we go. Now we got most of our enemy pinned down. That is great news. I'm liking where this goes, so she's going to come around here. Ah, oh, that tree there can cause a little bit of a problem. Right, let's get in here. And let us encourage our enemies to feel the might of the Lord. Do I, don't I? Nah. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well then, we 
shall find a way. And just unload this piece at point blank range right into his face. Because that works, right? Well, you found those responsible for stealing the Golden Talisman and put them to the sword. Now you just need to put the Golden Talisman back into Peter the Merchant's hands and get your rewards. Absolutely. Also, we'll set all this lot to repair because the first stone do not sell damaged goods. We might recycle them. And recycling is good for the environment, so we should definitely consider that. Especially later on when we have better equipment. But for now, of course, hey, I've been playing for a decent amount of time. Let's go get paid. When you return to Peter the Merchant, he is playing with a bird in a cage. Ah, the cell sword returns. And you hold up the artifact and then set it on his desk. He takes it turns it, nods, then puts it away. Excellent. And this is for your troubles. He waves a hand to a wooden chest filled with crowns, which we happily take. Now that we have been paid, we will absolutely hire Brother Oscar. And we will purchase that spear. Sell that buckler. And... It is a little cheaper, there we go. We will sell two of these knives. And we'll place him here with his spear. And now we want to be looking at armor to keep all of these alive. This is something we'll probably do after our next contract. But that I think we'll have to wait for another episode. I'm gonna leave this one here. I hope you've all enjoyed this episode, and I do look forward to seeing you all in the next one. But I'm going to say bye-bye for now, and cheerio, everyone!